Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Gray, and today I am bringing you probably the strongest and most fun necro build I have ever played in my entire time of this game. This build hits like an absolute freight train and is extremely tanky. All right. If you enjoy this playstyle or this niche of a class, whatever you want to call it, this build is 100% for you. All right, let's jump into it. We are running 64 points in a stamina. Those are the stats on the screen. Take a look at it. Take a gander at it. Pause it if you need. We're going to continue to move on. Next, we're running Smoked Bear Haunch Food. I 100% recommend this food if you can't afford it. By all means, your stats aren't going to be the same. You might struggle with the build if you don't have this food. But you can run whatever food you want. Just know you might struggle a little bit more, all right? Vampire Stage 3, Undeath is obviously still really good. Even post-nerf, I still really like it. We're running the Shadow Mundus. All right, let's jump into the gear. We're on a mechanical acuity front bar. Yes, mechanical acuity. It's extremely fucking stupid. We have a poison enchant sharpened on the bow. If you don't want to run the poison enchant, you can run escape as poisons or double dots. I prefer escape as poisons and 1v1s and open world. It's extremely strong. Just makes you insanely OP. So gotta love them. And they're not that expensive, but they kind of are. So take that with what you will. All right, next we're running Essence Thief. This is a very stupid set, and I'll get into reason why. So we have a Berserker enchant with a Defending. And if, down here at the very bottom, if we scroll down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You get health, stamina, and the worst part about this set, aka the most broken part, you increase your damage by a flat 10%. 10% in this game is extremely strong. And will give you insane stats, all right? 10% goes a long way in a game like this. So, not only will you have an extra heal now, and it's a burst heal. Now, it's not that much, but it's still a burst heal. And it also gives you your stamina back. Very nice. But the 10% damage is stupid. And there's no cooldown. So, yeah. All right, next. We are running three heavy, three medium, one light on the body pieces. All right, we are running Kalnar's Nightmare. This set is extremely good because it's a knockup stun that is undodgeable and it does a mad amount of damage. My fully buffed up tooltip is 15k, so take that with what you will. Next, we have a trainee chest reinforced. You got to get as much stats as you can out of this, so reinforced is probably the best, giving you the most armor value. Then we have the shoulders, Kalnar Nightmare, waist mechanical acuity, hands of mechanical acuity, heavy legs of mechanical acuity. And then Essence Thief Boots. Wherever you can fit the pieces, by all means, go and fit them wherever you can. And this build will still be perfectly fine. You shouldn't have that much of an issue, especially if you're in a group, right? But we're running all M-Pen minus the one reinforced. All right, next, we're running the Jewelry of Essence Thief. And we are running Death Dealer's Feet. If you do not want to run the Glyphs that are with Stam Recovery, you can 100% go with the Mag Recovery Glyphs depending on what you need and how you feel the playstyle is better for you. So 100% play with what you need and don't play exactly to my build unless you think you can. All right, next. If you do not want to run Death Dealer's Feet for some reason, you don't like the extra stats that it gives you and you want more damage, you can go with Thrashy and Stranglers. This set is extremely stupid and strong because not only do you have insane amount of damage already, if you put this on, you're a walking nuke around the map, especially if you're in an open world. You're like whoever you run into is dying immediately. I don't care who they are. You're pretty much playing a tank ganker essentially. Like you can survive a lot, but you're essentially a ganker and will two shot people. You already two shot people, but this makes it even more extreme to where you're killing the little zerglings that are out there with 900 million health. This will 100% nuke everything. All right. Now you don't need to run this because you do lose health. So keep that in mind. You're going to be a lot more squishy with this on. So if you're in a group, you're fine. If you're playing solo like I usually do, or in like a two-man, three-man, this isn't the most viable option, but it still can work. So if you are a casual gamer, a Zergling, whatever it may be, you don't want to try to 1vx or 1v1 the best players, go with Death Dealer's Feet. There's no issues with it. You're not going to have any downsides to it. You're perfectly fine with this build. It has enough damage as is, all right? All right, let's jump into the skills. On the bow bar, we are running Venom Arrow. If you do not want to run this for some reason, you hate this skill, there's a great skill in here. And it's brand new to the game, for me at least. If you've been around for Gold Road for a while now, then you already have all the scribing stuff. But I just got back, as most of you know, from deployment. 
but binding volt this skill is nuts so you can put whatever you want on here i just threw some random stuff on here i thought it'd be cool but i got the immobilize i got the reduces movement speed the hunter's snare and then i got major brutality and major sorcery increasing my damage by 20 percent also very very good all right so i really like this skill you can use this at the get out of jail free card and just fly around the map like you're a like a sork or a nightblade without cloak or streak you know what i'm saying it's essentially the same thing though but very very cool skill really enjoy this so if you don't want to run poison inject or venom arrow by all means go with the vault and you'll be, be you'll be really good because you can make that into your own skill with whatever you want to use all right next your bread and butter venom skull this thing is insanely strong and i'll show you guys a combo with it later to where you can combo everything everything hits at once and you nuke whatever is in front of you next mortal coil it's obviously bread and butter every necro uses it you get an extra heal over time gives you resources back and increases your healing done while it's slotted very strong next focused aim this gives you the sundered status effect very very strong in this day and age apply to bass bones you get a uh, you know, major to file and a, and a big nuke just running at you. So very, very cool. Dawnbreaker, Smiting, the OG baby, the bread and butter. Very good for comboing. Um, definitely love this skill. Back bar, we are running Temporal Guard. Resolving Vigor for obvious reasons. Bone Armor, you need that buff, you know what I'm saying. And then we are running Spirit Guardian, Elemental Susceptibility. And finally, we are running Healing Soul. I'm running the Heal druids resurgence and major vitality on this one but if you want to change it up run whatever you want by all means i just like the heal and the extra um healing right the increased healing received so you have very very strong healing with this build if you don't have scribing you didn't want to pay zoss you know some big monies for this type of skill line by all means go with resistant flesh it's still good it does the exact same thing my resistant flesh heal is bigger than my healing soul so whatever you want to run you know by all means you can 100 percent use this if you have the healing soul i would prefer you use that but play the game how you want right all right let's jump into the cp so fighting finesse focus mending master at arms duelist rebuff celerity survival instincts pain's refuge and sustained by suffering you can also put in Juggernaut, Rejuvenation, Fortified, or Balanced Vitality. If you do, I would swap one of these out. Preferably you don't, but hey, say you want to take out Sustained by Suffering, you don't need the recovery, put on Juggernaut. You take less damage when you're CC'd, because as you've seen in my skills, I don't have a CC immunity, right? Now, if you want a CC immunity, you could take off Mortar Coil, and you could put on Raise Against Time, you know, you put on whatever you want here. This would be the skill I would take off. I usually use this when I'm dueling people. But open world, I don't really have an issue with this build. So you can 100% do this open world or wherever you want. It works open world, 1v1, battlegrounds, IC, whatever you want to call it, right? This build works all over. Just know you're going to struggle a lot more against a lot more people. So, but that's the name of the game with any class, any build. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions in the comments below, by all means, hit me up. And um, I'll respond as fast as humanly possible. And uh, yeah. All right. Now, let's jump into the combo, right? So, we have our buffs, right? Um, we're going to light attack. Venom arrow. You're going to throw a skull. You're going to snipe into another skull. So now if you look at the very bottom, you see how it has a number two on the skulls? Now, if you hit your blast bones, right? If you hit your blast bones, I, I want to get my, uh, there we go. All right, if you get your blast bones off into a snipe, Dawnbreaker into a skull, everything lands at once and you just nuke, okay? That's pretty much the combo though, is you want to have everything up so you want to have your 10% damage from your Essence Thief. You want to have your Venom Arrow on. You want to have two Skulls up. Then you want to Blast Bones, Snipe, into a third Skull. And they pretty much land at the exact same time. You can obviously time this better. I'm just showing you the demonstration. Right? But that's pretty much it. 
I don't really think there's much to it. Like I said, snipe. You want to snipe pretty much every, like, in between every combo. And it just gives you more damage. But that's pretty much it. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this build. This is on the PTS, so I know it works this patch, or the new upcoming patch. So if you want to go and farm the gear, this build is not getting nerfed. At least I haven't seen it getting nerfed. It still works very, very strong. I've been using it in the um, current update, and I will be using it in the next update. This build is extremely strong. So if you want to 100% use this build, go for it. Let me know how it goes for you. And yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to me in the comments, ask some questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.